welcome back with another video today's video is um, about explaining you some of the uh, some of the terminologies related to design objects uh, I started with the timing constraint and I was uh, was thinking about that but uh, I think some of these design objects will come again and again uh, during this physical design uh, course so I thought why not uh, just uh, talk about those up front so these design objects are hierarchical cells what are leaf cells what are leaf pins what are hierarchical pins what are ports what are nets all, all that is that sort of stuff what we do typically is when we apply constraints we apply them on some of these design objects and another angle of these design objects is when you report things when you report timing or when you report delays, transition time, capacitance, resistance, arrival times, required time, setup, and all kind of timing information, or any type of um, timing or logical information or structural thing, all those additional details are saved in the database as attributes of these things. So you want to find the name of, of a cell, you want to find uh, what's the reference um, a name of that cells you want to find out what the instance name of that cell you want to find out what are the pins of those cells you want to find out hmm, what are the standard cell library of that cell is it a hierarchical cell is it a leaf cell and all that so typically this is so design objects then comes attributes so all you do is you get the attributes of these things and that's how you kind of poke your design. You try to get different information about your design. And especially when you're custom reporting, that's what you use. Things will be clear, don't worry, even if my expression is not making much sense, but uh, let's go through these design objects. And I have created a simple example, a simple timing path that we have. And this timing path I will uh, keep using again and again for most of the constraints and maybe I will add few things here and there as appropriate but right let's start with a very simple one so this is let, let's call it this is our design and we call this design a path okay how it is in in the in the system very log or very log again don't worry about the the syntax that i've used but what i'm trying to say is it's a module it has input port in and clock and output port is out then there are different cell instantiated inside so i can use and for example in system very log some of the bitwise operators as opposed to calling instance of flip-flop but i'm just assuming here these are standard cells which are instantiated in this module or in other words you can also say that this is a net list it has a flip-flop launch flip-flop it has a buffer it has n it's an r and there is hmm, there is actually a ff2 so this is the reference name and this is the instance name okay we'll we'll get to that in a minute but the point is this is the design and this is that path module and then in another top level design, which I call it top, I have instantiated two copies of this path, exact copies, so this copy and this copy. So this one, the top level also has an input port, input clock port, output port. Uh, yeah, if it's a system very log, I will say input logic something. If it's very log, I think I'll just declare it and then declare them here, something like that. But I just want to convey the point as opposed to talking about the, the center exactly. But the point is that inside the top, you have two instances, instance one and instance zero of the same design path. So this is path and then instantiated. Then I did other things I'm skipping here is the connection I'm making in the main in of the top. I'm connecting to the in of the instance one. And then clock comes connected to this one and exactly same net connects to this one. Then this path output, then I connect to the input one. So I'm creating kind of a two parts here. So it's a one part, then that is launch here, then get another one. And then it goes out and goes to the outside port. That's simple design. 
so first of all there are in the top level so there's a top level hierarchical cell so let's talk about this one first there is a top level hierarchical cell and it has two hierarchical cells instantiated so top and then there's a one and instance zero but still these are hierarchies like these are modules the actual cell actual physical cell which we call leaf cell actually are these ones so how many leaf cells are here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if i say how many leaf cell in hierarchy path you can say one two three four five right so you, you see the difference between between the two okay so leaf is the end hierarchy is kind of more of just a module declaration it, it's not a physical they, they, this is where physical boundary is this is more like a drawing thing okay so hierarchical does have a boundary but overall let's say if i flatten it it's another terminology used flatten it flatten mean at the top level i don't see any hierarchy path and this one what happened is somehow and that is possible typically what we do is bring all these from the bottom to the top okay so typically how we um in at least in synopsis tool if we if i want to get this leaf cell um how i get that so typical cell is what i use get underscore cell this is the synopsis command uh, but again you you get that inside the tickle shell get cell and then you have top the reference name of the top and let's say i want to get this ff1 so this f1 would be path instant one and then f f1 these are instance names okay so that is how i i get to this cell what if i want to get to this cell so all i need to do is what i need to modify this and say it's zero now if i do get cell sorry maybe just if i do this yeah it, it's a it's a cell it's not a standard cell it's not a leaf cell but it's a hierarchical cell but it tool will still be fine with this command okay so understand that leaf cell or hierarchical cell then leaf pins that's pretty obvious so let's say if i do now get get pin and instance zero this guy has a pin in and clock right i mean this hierarchy has this pin so these from the top point of view if i'm sitting at the top then in this in this clock and this one these are the ports but any side inside the, the port of path so if i'm sitting here within path if sorry maybe this is better yeah if if this is where i'm sitting then this is port this is port this is port but if i'm sitting at the top then these are not port these are pins this this one two three are ports so i get pin with let's say part in okay is this a, a leaf pin or a hierarchical pin this is a hierarchical pin right because i'm getting a pin of this hierarchical cell now if i do um let's say, let's say buffer again instance name that is important and let's say it has a and o output so a what about this one now this is a leaf pin or this is a hierarchical pin this is leaf pin okay if i do this i'm sitting at the top level 
and you can move the hierarchy so for example within synopsis you have this command current design if I say current design is path it tell me now I'm sitting inside path not one of these actually the module path the reference one and after doing this this command after running this one if I run above command that's not gonna work because now I'm sitting now I can do this only but this one is outside you see as you see the sitting in different hierarchy means what that those are important concepts okay now more I'm explaining more I'm feeling that okay so that's good it was a good idea that I started explaining these so with current design path I'm getting into path and now if I do if I want to get this for example this I will you I will do say get port in so I'm actually referring to this one it's not this or this because now I'm inside that single design so basically I'm, I'm sitting at this level I'm not, I do not have a picture of this and this separate so again just uh, revising what I said when when you are sitting in a, at a hierarchy uh, whatever hierarchy is the external signals are ports and all internal signal what are the whether these are har har pins of hierarchy or pins of the leaf those are pins not ports so we kind of covered this this leaf pins and we have covered different going moving into different hierarchies ports we have covered right um yeah before ports actually nets that's an important thing what is net so net can be connected uh, think of this now i'm again i'm sitting at the top level but I have a visibility inside these two. So uh, this port, think of that. So this port is connected to this pin in between, like it's a wire. Every time I say net, what is a net? It's like a wire connection. You are connecting this thing to this thing, right? Even when this sitting, or let's assume they, um, you're taking a wire and connect to this. So this is a net. Then there between this and this, this is the net. And between this and this this is a net all these the kind of connections are nets similarly this is a clock net so so your nets your pins are connected to the nets your ports are connected to the net and cells yes this is a cell but then it has inside there is no net connected to a cell there are so many nets connected to cell, right for example this cell you have this 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 external then you have several ones so you can like say hey get me a net of a cell you can say get me a net of a pin or get me net of a port all right so what is data port so in this example in and out as you can understand clock is the one going to clock pin so Naturally, clock eventually be clock port. It's not a data port. But in the beginning, how does tool know? Right, okay, you have connected to it. So this flip flop knows I have a clock coming in, but overall design doesn't know, right? This will come later on unconstrained and constraining. But for the moment, think of that. If we have a clock defined and how we define that will come later on, then that port becomes a clock port and others are data ports. Then each port has a direction. So if it was declared with system very log uh, logic input, then this is an input port, or this can be an output port. Sometimes some ports can be in and out because those are bidirectional. You can bring data in, you can send that out. Those are at chip level. So in out is a valid one too. I think I did cover everything. Um, Maybe later on when I start actually uh, giving you some practical example and after theory definitely I mean this is physical designs just explaining you like this and not gonna cover everything so I definitely have to get to the open source tools and start doing actual like experiment and some running some command that that's what you will understand okay that's it for now I will see you in the next video and next video is going to be about how when when you design in unconstraints 
uh, how you can start constraining and we will gradually start constraining okay so next next lecture is going to about unconstrained endpoints thank you see you then bye